charge point stock price prediction okay guys so here we are with another charge point update so i like to record these videos basically when there's been a dip in the price as you can see one of my strategies that i've been following that's been uh paying a lot of dividends for me is simply to buy the dip and to sell the rip but in terms of charge point this is really a stock that i'm not going to be selling so in this video we're going to talk about whether this is a nice point to buy some more shares and kind of how things are leading up until the merger date before i get into the video guys i want to remind you that webull has extended their offer you get up to four free stocks when you simply sign up open a brokerage account and deposit at least a hundred dollars so all you have to do is click the link in the description below and simply sign up and you have to open a webull webull brokerage account and you have to deposit at least a hundred dollars and you'll get four free stocks each valued up to sixteen hundred dollars guys so this offer ends february 1st so make sure you get your free stocks now okay guys so back to the video so it I made some of these previous charge point videos talking about how it was a pretty predictable pattern how basically we were seeing higher lows with the stock and we've seen a run up and then a, a pullback and then a run up and then a pullback and then a run up. So here we go again. It looks like there are a lot of people that are actually trading this stock to make profits. So they're simply buying down near the support and they're selling into resistance. But for me personally, this isn't a really a stock that I'm simply trading in and out of, although there are some profits to be made there if that is simply your strategy. But for me, this is basically the Tesla of charging stations in the United States. So obviously Tesla has its own charging network, but ChargePoint is one of the largest by far and they have over a 70% market share. So be sure to check out some of these previous videos. I'm not gonna go into like the deep dive analysis that I did, I made a lot of previous videos. So we're gonna talk a little bit more about basically what's gonna happen up until the merger date which is proposed for february 11th and kind of some ways that you can play this stock guys so if we take a look at the chart here as we can see here we can basically see that the stock is up a ton since the back in september when they officially announced that they were going to charge point was going to merge with switchback energy so first thing i want to say the stock is up over 284 percent and the ticker symbol hasn't even changed so the merger hasn't even completed yet and as i mentioned earlier we have a low here a low here a low here a low here and a low here so even though there are some sharp pullbacks it's kind of one of the more volatile um i would say ev stocks out there we know that basically around the price point of around $33, around $33 to $32, we know that's when buyers are simply coming into the stock. So for charge point, I basically just held my shares and anytime it dips down, I just add more. And the reason is that I think charge point is definitely going to $3,000 a share in the long run. You guys want to check out, I made a video talking about that. I'll link to that one in the description, how I have a $3,000 price point for charge point. And I simply think that people are underestimating how much we're going to be transitioning from gas guzzling vehicles to ev vehicles so right now evs are only around four percent of all global sales and i expect that number to be as much as around 50 percent by 2030 you know evs is kind of like um, something that is going to catch on so right now it's basically just a niche market you know only people that are really aware of companies like tesla and things like that um, have an ev vehicle but ev sales are skyrocketing in china they're skyrocketing in india they're increasing in the United States and Canada and charge point is a major player in the United States. So obviously there's a lot of different charging stocks out there. You've got EV box for Europe. Um, of course, you've got charge point and blink charging and things like that. So there's lots of different charging options. But the thing I believe is that uh, when it goes to charging stations, I want to go with the largest, most dominant company. And that simply is charge point in the United States. And of course, they have an awesome charging app. It's really awesome to use. And they have the number one best selling home flex charger on amazon guys with a four a four and a half star rating so great things across the board and be sure to check out some of my previous videos on charge where i mentioned a lot of these things so where is charge point start going right now well as i'm recording this video guys joe biden is going to be inaugurated as a president in the united states and joe biden was extremely extremely pro charging network so he said he had a goal to build over 500,000 charging networks um, i guess within the next four years or so and charge point also has a goal to have around 2.5 million charging points by 2025 so why is this so important to me well you know the way charge point is basically positioning itself for massive growth it really reminds me of tesla about 10 years ago uh you know 10 years ago or like five five to ten years ago elon musk said he wanted to produce around half a million vehicles by 2020 and everyone laughed at him and he achieved that goal so now elon musk's goal uh for 2030 is to produce 
around 20 million million vehicles a year and i mean if he did he achieved his goal basically achieved it in 2020 i don't see a reason why he couldn't do it in 2030 so what does this apply to charge point well it shows you that uh, these type of companies with passionate um ceos with ambitious goals they're working towards those goals so now looking at charge point charge point ceo is pascal romano he's he's from harvard educated he is um also has a um master's degree from mit he's a really smart guy and i've been watching this guy uh basically his interviews and stuff like that he's super super passionate about charge points so if he has a goal to have around 2.5 million charging points by 2025 i believe in him i'm going to be buying his stock i think he can reach that goal so what this means is is that right now as you can see here as we're leading up to the merger it's, it looks like people are just trading it so basically they're buying here and they're selling here and that's definitely something you can do as well but for me i don't like to time the market i like to have time into the market so although there are some potential profits that you can get here short term a lot of people that ended up um you know buying here and selling here um you know now if they're going to rebuy they basically have to figure out what the best entry point is and things like that so i think for this stock this is a best with a long-term hold obviously with tesla stock you could have you know you can be trading it but um some of the people that became tesla millionaires simply just bought as many shares as they could and just simply held on to them so i think with a stock like charge point it's not really a penny stock or anything like that i think there's a lot of um growth and a lot of profits ahead if you simply just buy your shares and hold on to them so i'm expecting another predictable movement in the stock price i think that we'll kind of really kind of continue to sell down and kind of hit down more sellers will come into the stock and then i'm looking at resistance here i'm looking at a nice resistance level of about 38 dollars. so that's where i'm going to be coming in and buying the stock because as i've looked in the previous times all three of these previous bottoms have been low so the previous bottom here at 26 dollars and then around $33 and then around 34 $34 or something like that so the next previous low I'm looking for I'm looking for around $38 $37 that's where I'll be coming in and buying more shares and although people some people may have bought at the top here and now you're sitting right here I would say look unless you really need the money this would be a time to add to your position because you know over the long run we're going up so obviously there's going to be peaks and valleys and you know it's kind of like professional sports right you're not going to have an undefeated season so you're going to have some wins and some losses but overall as long as you're moving in the right direction um, you're going to win in the long run and that's basically what I'm anticipating with charge point stock i think right now is still the first inning a lot of people aren't aware what switchback energy is and there's a lot of major upside guys so remember like i said looking over the long run the stock is still up 135 percent over the last three months and over the last six months it's up 288 percent so we're still moving in the right direction even though things aren't going as fast as i predicted i thought there would be a lot more buying interest into the stock i think still that until the merger is completed i think a lot of people just aren't aware of what switchback energy is we're going to see massive gains in charge point stock i think once the ticker symbol changes and i definitely want to get in i want to get as many shares as possible before the merger date because i don't want to be chasing the stock assuming that it's going to rip much higher um, after the ticker symbol changes and everyone is familiar with it because charge point um, has a lot of customers they've done tens of millions of charges and a lot of people are already using their app and using the product and they're going to finally be aware that the stock is publicly traded there's going to add a lot of new buyers to um, the stock and then after these new buy the retail investors buying you're also going to have institutional investors that are going to be like well i want to invest in charging stations what's the largest one charging point okay putting my money there so that's what i'm kind of anticipating and hopefully down the road hopefully charge point can become a part of the s p 500 just like tesla did and a lot of these things are going to happen in the in the past i'm sorry a lot of these things are going to happen in the future but for right now i think now is an excellent time to buy a charge point stock under 40 dollars for me personally is a steal and i wouldn't worry about the stock crashing after the merger um, this is not a stock with zero revenue the company does over 100 million in revenue so we won't see a, a crash like that um we only see stocks crash on when the SPACs close when these are prospective companies that don't have a lot of revenue like companies like canoe um you know we saw with the canoe stock crash like that because they don't have much revenue but charge point has plenty of revenue 100 million dollars and growing so as long as the ev industry increases charge point stock will do well as 
as well. So that's it until next time, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoy my content. Smash the red subscribe button to receive more video updates from me. Be sure to check out my daily stock watch newsletter posted every Monday through Friday. And grab that in the link description below. And if you want to chat with me in our private Discord chat where uh, investors, we have our own private community where we talk about EV stocks and stuff like that. You can check that out in the description as, as well. So that's it until next time, guys. Take care.